Welcome back, video number two for Cheat Code 5.3H. What are we talking about? We're talking about addition and subtraction of fractions with unequal denominators using picture models. So, went through it, this is video number two, so go, go through, watch, you know, listen to, look at all the vocab. Okay, and let's take on, we got two questions this video. Kara, or Kara and Marcus, shared a candy bar. The models are shown to show which, show the fraction of the candy bar that each of them ate. They shared one candy bar. So each of them ate less than one, okay? They ate less than one. Do you think they're gonna be added up, maybe, to, to, to mean the same, I, I don't know. I want you guys to see this. Each, section is three. Marcus, this is one equals three. One, three, one, three, right? So, is it fair to say that Kara ate more, she did eat more. Marcus got three squares, right? So let's just add them here. One, two, three. What fraction of the candy bar did Kara and Marcus eat all together, so we're adding them. All we have to do is count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They ate eleven. That's it. They ate eleven out of twelve. How many? How many? How many? What's the fraction? What's the denominator? It's out of twelve total. Because Marcus, he only ate three. What's three, 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 three? That's 12, three out of 12. And what did she eat? Kyra ate um, eight, she ate eight out of 12, equals 11 out of 12. So you could have just done it visually and counted, or you could have done it with actually fractions and added them together. Doesn't matter. That's why some people like the visuals, and other people don't like the visuals, because the, the, the pictures confuse them, and other people, the numbers confuse them. <laughs> so, fraction pies versus fraction bars. If you have a fraction bar, and we talked about this in, in, in the first video, this is one whole, okay? So you're gonna have one whole equals two halves, or it equals three thirds, or fourths. If you have a, a list of a stack of fraction bars, you can add them together. You can you can look at them and you can think, oh well, if they if they're added together and they equal the full box, that's one whole. Even let's we can go back a slide. These are fraction bars. That's all they are. So we could say, oh, here is one whole, right? Marcus ate three, so he ate right here. He ate three. This is M for Marcus. And this is C for Kara. What's left? Only one square out of the 12 is, is not eaten. Isn't that cool? So fraction bars draw. Use your paper and draw. Okay? It will be very, 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 very helpful. Okay? And then, so here with the fraction pi, uh, you're going to have... Sorry about that bug. You're going to have... Uh, one circle equals one, right? If you have half of a circle, that's clearly one half, and then maybe you have one, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One eighth plus one eighth plus one quarter plus one half. Oh, okay. So you can use the pictures together. Oh, what, what is that? Oh, look, there's two eighths. There's two eighths, so if I have one eighth, that means I'm going to have right here. And if I have one half, oh, look, I have, if I add one eighth, one quarter, and one half, I add them all together, that equals seven eighths. So use, use the pictures to help you. All right? that's, our, that's our video, that's adding and subtracting fractions with uh, picture graphs and, and pictorial models. So have a great day, guys.